There are 18 terms and definitions that you need to know in order to pass subtest three of your CSET multiple subjects test. And in this video, I'm gonna walk through all of them. All right, without further ado, let's jump into the test prep. All right, whether you're on your phone, tablet, or computer, make sure you're following along. Just go to teacherpreps.com, click select your exam, find the CSET multiple subjects. If you haven't already enrolled into the full test prep, make sure you click the blue button and do that. If you have, just click this login button and it will take you to the test prep. And then inside, we're gonna be first looking at this subtest three, vocabulary matching. Now, what I really like about this prep is it feels like you're not even studying, you're playing games, it's interactive. And so what I want you to do first is I'm going to say the words and then I want you to repeat after me. And we have three vocabulary games that we're gonna play in order to learn the 18 need to know terms and their definitions for subtest number three of your CSET, multiple subjects exam. All right, so again, the more interactive you make these videos, the better you'll do on test day. So if you don't already have your pen and paper, grab those, get those out, write these down, Make sure that you're enrolled in the test prep. Drag and drop these with me. All right, without further ado, I'm gonna read them. I want you to repeat after me. Pitch, dynamics, rhythm, meter, tempo, space. All right, now take a moment here, pause the video, and see if you can match the correct terms with their definitions. I'm just gonna take one second, and then we'll do it together. All right. I hope that was long enough. So we have these different definitions and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna read the ones and the, I'm gonna read all of them and the ones that I know I'm gonna match them. And remember the test tip is that if you come across a question on test day that you're not totally familiar with or sure about, depending on how much time you have, either make an educated guess because it's better to guess than to not answer it at all on the CSET multiple subjects test or what I'm gonna do is if you feel like you have enough time, skip it and then come back to it. So the first one right here reads, the highness or lowness of a musical note. Highness or lowness of a musical note. That, okay, so we've got pitch, dynamics, rhythm, meter, tempo, space. Highness or lowness of a musical note. I think that's gonna be this first one right here, pitch. Okay, now second, the grouping of beats in music. Now, for me, subtest one was terms that I needed to read, to learn, because in my real life, I don't really use phonological, phonemic awareness, concepts about print, sound segmentation, sound blending. For subtest two, which is all about math and science, I just needed a refresher, because I had learned them, but I needed the extra practice. But subtest three was all totally new to me, because I've never played a musical instrument, I've never been in drama, um, I never played sports in high school. And so th those are the three categories for subtest three. So for me, these words were totally new. And that's why I like this prep so much because it gets, it gets you to check your understanding rather than just reading it like a lot of other test preps have. All right, so here we have the grouping of beats in music. So grouping, it's not pitch, dynamics, rhythm, the grouping. Okay, so again, test tip. If you don't know, move on and come back to it the pattern of sounds and pauses in music. So this is the pattern, the pattern. Okay, let's keep going. The speed of music influencing movement pace. Speed, I think speed has to do with tempo, okay? It, it turned green, which means correct, so that's good. The area where dance moves occur. All right, wait a second, where's the dance floor in here? <laughs> All right, so it must be space. All right, so let's move this down and drop it here. Okay, good. The volume of music affecting movement's energy. The volume. That to me feels like dynamics. So let's go here and let's drag it and drop here. Okay, it looks good. So we have two more. And if you're a music person, this is probably really easy for you. But if you're not like me, I mean, I love to listen to music, but I've never played it. so. You really want prep in order to make sure that you pass. So again, the group we've got the grouping of beats in music and the pattern of sounds and pauses. And it's either going to be rhythm or meter. Grouping or, pa okay, so pattern, 
to me sounds more like rhythm. So I'm gonna drag and drop that there. And then meter, we're gonna go here. And then just double check, moment of truth. We're gonna click the submit button and all right. Awesome, we've got six out of six. Now notice how it doesn't even feel like studying. It feels more like playing and that's the best way to learn. Now these were the first six of our 18 and we're gonna go to game number two, which just navigating on the left navigation bar right down here, subtest three, vocabulary matching number two. Let's let the page load. And again, as soon as this page comes up, what I want you to do is read the terms and ask yourself, what do you know about them? Which ones do you feel like you still need to study? So same thing as before, I'm going to read them and then I want you to repeat after me. Make, it sounds funny, right? But make this interactive and active learning instead of passive learning. Now this first one was kind of hard for me to pronounce. I've never seen this before I took the test, but I looked it up and this is, <laughs> Sign copation, okay, sign copation. But I know the meaning because I studied it. All right, now the next one we have is cardio respiratory endurance, and then body awareness, non-locomotor skills, harmony and locomotor skills. So first and foremost, I noticed that we have like the positive and the negative or the opposites. We've got locomotor skills and non-locomotor skills. And remember that locomotor means movement. So if you see motor, think movement. All right, and the other ones, let's learn by doing. All right, so I'm going to read the definitions and before I match them, I want you to pause the video and write down on your piece of paper. Remember, I know it takes more time and effort to write it, but if you write it, you'll learn it better. But if you don't want to, then at least think in your brain how you would match these words with their definitions. Take a moment and pause the video. All right. Let's move on to the matching. The first definition reads, moving parts of the body without changing location. So remember, without changing location, I might move on, or I could guess. But if it's the location part, makes me think movement. And without changing location, makes me think this is non-locomotor skills. Let's drag and drop it here. Okay, it turned green, must be right. A shift in the beat for an unexpected rhythm. I'm definitely gonna skip this, I'm gonna come back to it. Different notes played together for a combined sound. Different notes played together for a, com I'm, yeah, pretty sure that's harmony. Let's, there we go, turn green. Maintaining physical activity by efficiently using oxygen. That's going to be the cardiorespiratory endurance. Let's drag and drop that here. Next, we have understanding how different body parts move. That would be body awareness. Let's go right here and drag and drop. There we go, turn green, good. Moving the body from one place to another. So I think now, we go from non-locomotor skills to locomotor skills, and I'm just going to drag and drop right there, which means that the last one, a shift in beat for an unexpected rhythm. Ah, yes, this syncopation, if I'm not pronouncing that right, excuse me, but I think that's the right way to say it. Now, looks like they're all green. Let's click the submit button and double check. We got six out of six. Nice, all right, now we have one more game to play. And if you're following along and you appreciate these videos, you like these videos, make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to teach your preps for more test prep videos. That's gonna help you pass your CSET multiple subjects exam. My name's Elliot Zelenskis, I'm your fellow California credentialed teacher, and I have taken prepared for and passed the CSET, and now I'm just helping you pass too. All right, so. We're gonna scroll down on the left navigation bar to subtest three, matching game, number three. But my computer's kind of loading slowly because I'm recording. And so let's let it load, here we go. Pause the video. Read the words and their definitions by yourself. Try to match them alone. And then together we'll come back, do it again. All right. now. I'm gonna say the words, and I want you to repeat after me. 
fine motor skills. Autonomy, gross motor skills, social interaction, self-esteem, attachment. All right, so we've got six new words. Now let's go down below and read the definitions and let's start matching the ones that we feel confident about. Using small muscles for detailed tasks like writing. This, the small muscles detailed, that's gonna be fine motor skills. Good. The emotional bond between a child and a caregiver. This is, drag and drop it, attachment. Okay, next, using large muscles for big movement. So this is the opposite of fine motor skills. This is gross motor skills. Good. Fourth one, feeling good about oneself through physical achievements. I believe this would be self-esteem. Okay, good. Let's go to the second to last, being independent and responsible for one's actions. That's going to be autonomy. Here we go, drag and drop. Now the last one, we have making connections with others through physical activity, like playing sports or something like that. That would be, uh, here we are, social interaction. Make it green, good. All right, submit, six out of six. How did you do? If you feel like you need more test prep, or if you want access, remember this is just the vocabulary section. This test prep includes a study guide, full length time to practice tests, and AI essay checkers that will grade your essays instantly. And if you want to make studying and preparing and passing your CSET multiple subjects exam easy, simple, go to teacherpreps.com, find the blue button, click enroll and get access to all of this right now. So you can start studying and pass your exam. And then you can take the Rika test. And then you can become a certified credentialed teacher. And then you can get your own classroom. And then you can launch your career. And there you go. So thanks so much for watching. If you appreciated it, make sure you give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next video.